Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ingus and I'm from IGS Electronics and this video today is going to be sort of a continuation from previous video with our thematic net card which is a CP343-1 so uh, we are going to be, yeah in the last video we set the card up, did a firmware update and other bits that, uh, to do with the network and today we're going to be checking out a little bit deeper in the network how to integrate a, uh, the card itself so it works part of the wider network and uh, what that wider network would allow you to do and also we're going to be checking out its web server it's a cool uh, addition I think it's, uh, anybody should know that exists so and how to access it because it is accessible pretty much anywhere from within the computer as long as you are within the network and able to and obviously you know the IP address of the actual uh, module as well so uh so yeah it's a web server it's something you can just access it have a look at it all the all the the cpu and blah blah, blah all the all the problems and all other bits and pieces we're just gonna show that in a minute as well it's fantastic uh feature within the card and all the all the newer plc's and 1500 and 1200s and the yogos they all have it so yeah so and uh, this later card it's uh, the, the uh, ex30 i think it's ex30 no, X, no, it's, yeah, it's the X30, uh, that one has it. So yeah, that's what we do today. So without further ado, let's get started. So guys, before we get started, there's one useful thing that is, is good to know. Is a little bit understand the network itself, how the networking works, and it's very useful to go on a YouTube and watch some, some, uh, some, some uh, videos about it because is because the industry is moving into all into networks. So it's very, I would strongly suggest to get a bit of knowledge how the networks work. So it makes you easier later on to diagnose or work or set up and things like that in the future. But in short, what we need to do in here. So let me expand the the corner video in here so uh, as you can see in this garden here we have white cable in here that one's going straight to a network and uh, the blue one that's connecting straight to my laptop in here so at the moment what we're going to be doing we're going to be unplugging the white one and uh, we are going to basically what we're going to do is communicate with this blue one uh, with this uh, network cable in there that's connected directly to our laptop so one thing when we want want to make sure that our IPs are within the same subnet and within the same network. And so if you go into CMD, so uh, just to make things easier, it's always good practice to make sure that, uh, that, that to, to try to keep everything within the same network because it will just ease the communications and uh, it's just it's just useful to do it. So uh, if you go in uh, IP config i know in my building in here i only have a one uh one network which is uh this guy in here is 192.168.22423 so uh and uh, that's uh, that ignore that one because that's that's not connected to anything at the moment it's just a uh, default so this one in here as it says that's my wi-fi this that's my internal uh house uh, network so i want to make sure that my uh plc and my laptop is within the same, well, my laptop is going to be with the same network anyway. So, but, but the PLC will be within the same network. So, if you have several networks, so you need to, you need to sort of, again, you know, some of the buildings, like my work, we had about four or five different networks. So I was talking to IT, what would be the best network for me to set my laptop in and my PLC in. So, make sure I can communicate with the PLC anywhere from the building by just being within the same network. So it's it's usually uh, advisable. There's obviously a different ways of rounding things like that, but to make things as simple as possible, try to be within the same network. So as you can see in here, if I go my uh, uh, port uh, addressing, as you can see my IP address right down here, it's at 192.168.2.201. So again, so uh, another thing you need to remember, if because uh, especially in the big places, a lot of the addresses has been occupied by different devices. Again, I ask your IT or I don't know how the way you find IT would usually know which uh, find out which IP address you can uh, use and uh, to uh, assign to your PLC. So again, talk to your IT. So for me, I've got no IT. I've got, I know my network, so I know 201 is free. So if it is conflicting, so guys, the SF will be coming up as the error. So I just, yeah, so, so 
let's let's put that aside so that's what we're doing in here so and as well guys once this is in the network anybody connecting with the laptop to the network if your software is not protected or uh, 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 the, you haven't put any uh, sufficient amount of protection to anybody will be able to access and do whatever they want with it so do make sure uh, that you do your best to protect it so and uh, if you go into oh where is the operation mode no port options dude. there is somewhere in here i literally every time i look at it i keep for getting where it is there's somewhere in here you can set up the ips uh, it's i literally just looked at it guys not to love prolong the video somewhere down here is oh port porting report no porting diagnostics am i completely there it is i was in the wrong place so i uh, double click on the thingy so it opens up the card as always it was in different cards so and as you can see down here is the ip access protection you can you can set up specific iOS levels so you the only one computer can access it you can do that and things like that but in here the web server that's what we need to what we want to select we can make sure that is active web server is on uh, uh on this module is active so and also let's, let's just click that click that one download firmware version via web, web server you can actually update your firmware version via the web server if you want to so i i think that i want to just quickly show you what that is and then there's also diagnostics and uh i address him so uh the card pretty much is ready so uh i already loaded in this configuration so you just click load and uh, fire back in so what i'm going to do in here as you can see in a uh, now actually what i can do in here well, i will unplug the blue cable so and then i'm going to uh, plug, uh, put now the uh, white cable in which is uh, gonna be uh, now now it's connected literally my, my plc is now literally on network so it should be accessible knowing but the knowing the ip it should be accessible to you so the first thing what you can do you can go in accessible nodes and by the way i'm working now wirelessly there's no wires to it as you can see down here right in the bottom my wireless is absolutely trash i bought this unit that would extend my wireless network and it just goes on and off on and off i ain't got a clue why so uh when you go into actually we're not gonna do the wireless because there's an access access accessible devices on wireless doesn't work so uh if you want to go on the uh online so uh go online click extend it so we can change the settings so how we want to connect to it once why is it so slow to this so in here make sure you connect uh, select your uh uh, your uh, the wireless uh, card that is doing the wireless thing within your computer. So uh, my one is this guy in here. So by clicking and then you can uh, open the ports uh, and uh, open a port direct port direct slot, which uh, then it says show devices with the same addresses. So uh, we're going to keep that as is. So and uh, search for it. So if you are looking for different, if you're looking for any address within that network, uh, it's uh, within a network. So uh, it is uh, then, then then click. I'll show you in a minute. Once he does his business, here it is. It's found. It's, here we go. It found wirelessly our uh, device. So if your laptop is gonna be outside, uh, not within the same IP and things like that, you might struggle find it so uh and also you can say in here show all accessible uh devices uh compatible or accessible and things like that so it's it's if you want to find out what's on the network so i am looking specifically my uh because you know my laptops uh it's basically if i have any here already within the program i'm looking specifically uh address uh, that matches something like this or similar so and then we can go online as you can see we now be able to go online wirelessly and there we go and basically we can now uh, connect and communicate without any wires things like that so uh, we everything is working now so we can be anywhere in the building and do whatever we want to do when it comes down to programming and so on one thing is i'm not sure is intended so let's just go offline if you go in accessible devices when you are in a wireless uh, completely wireless 
it will not it will not find accessible devices I, I was trying to read up on it to give you some sort of an uh, idea why but uh, I couldn't find any specific information so why is my computer why is he playing like that anyway so we're gonna search for it now and it's gonna come uh, is, 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 is it will come up with some form of error saying you know what uh, no I'm not gonna show I can't find anything again I was researching so as you can see it's uh, it found something but found with a problem so I couldn't find any information about why but when you're going accessible when you're wireless you will not be able to do that but what if what, if I connect the uh, where's my uh, where's my cable so if I connect my now my uh, uh, laptop to the actual my network so what I'm gonna do in here I'm gonna connect it to the network so uh, so my card now is connected to the network so and then what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take this off so as you can see now I am connected into my uh, my network which is actually called Popeyes happy days and uh, then go into accessible nodes whatever reason I think I need to restart my system and then I'm gonna go into the specific card that I because I got two cards remember guys this my laptop's got two network cards what is going on with this flashing so uh, internet connection this is my adapter where it is and then, we, then we're gonna search now so and as you can see it found it straight away because if you're hardwired you can find it but you can't find it uh, wirelessly not sure I'm doing something wrong but it is what it is. So uh, if you find out what it is and uh, do no good, good, uh, good uh, explanation, do leave it in comments below. So anyway, once now, just to give an idea what uh, this uh, what this cinematic net can do, and there's one thing, one good thing as well that it does. The main thing what this video is supposed to be about is the web server. So for web server, you need to memorize what IP address it was. And again, your laptop is highly, uh, you more or less must be within the same network as your uh, semantic net to be able to connect to. So we're going to go into 192.168.1.1. Two, as you can see already, it's already coming up the little window. It's already seen that uh, that address there, right there. So he's already seeing it. So it uh, dot uh, now it's two hundred and one, two hundred and one. That's the address that we remember we had. So by clicking on it, and there we go. It takes you into from your computer. It just takes you into some form. Of, you don't have to. You don't have to have a TR portal in the computer to be able to access this page. We're going to continue with this page from our iPad. So oh, here we are, so hopefully this is more or less visible. Again, my iPad is within the same network as my CPU right here, the Cimatic Net right down here. So again, it's, 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 it's good to set everything up properly. Remember, IPs matter how you connect to a team. So we're going to go in here and uh, type in 192. Hopefully that I, our network is right there. Oh, there it is. So we need this one in here. And it will open up uh, the page straight away for you. So from there on, again, if you're a plant manager and, uh, and somebody's calling you up and saying, look, I've got a problem. My PLC is flashing, flashing reds and things like that. Or you want to quickly have a look what is going on. It's perfect, guys. From iPads, you connect to your uh, PLC and you can go into straight into diagnostics and read up on it what is going on so as you can see my all my last uh, things I've been doing there's all sorts of things I've been uh, playing around and things like that it's going to display you all the all last events that was happening down there so uh, you can go into identification just have a look at the uh, obviously I haven't uh, set up any uh, plan desi designation or location then as you can uh, you can set up the identifications if you want so and uh, and uh, if you go into module information, you can have a look at the rack configuration, have a look at what's in the rack, what's flashing red as well. So there's all, any, any cars that come with the uh, diagnostics will be a, uh, displayed in here with LED states. So you'll be able to see on the LED states what is going on and where. Even tells you the firmware versions of all the uh, units that uh, well have as a firmware. So, and then it's industrial internet, uh, you can, I don't know, I'm never, I haven't gone through this, this page in there, it's the receive, I don't think there's anything set up in there, all this can, can be set up, S7 communications, again, can be set up, IP protect, um, IP access protection, again, is nothing's been set up in there, 
media transition to and then we also have the download center as you can see in here if that tick inside the, is not being set up so uh, this, this part in here, the tick where you said update your firmwares via the web server, as you can see in here. Uh, I have a, uh, not a, basically, uh, I have, uh, I've done my firmware already, so, but you can download it and uh, uh, update your firmware from within the web server if you wish to. I'm not sure what that flash is, that's, that's interesting again it's a good idea to set up protections to make sure nobody can go in there so there's not much actually you can uh, do to it there's some things you can do to it to the plc but as I said do your best to protect your system as much as you can so and that ladies and gentlemen will uh, do for this video hopefully this is giving you a good understanding of what semantic net is and how it works i know we did two videos i was trying to make this video as short as possible if I'm talking too much and too long, definitely comment in below and let me know and I will start trying to shorten next. I'm just trying to explain as much as I can so everybody uh, understands uh, how that works. Hopefully the message is getting across, so uh, do, do let me know in comments below if it is not and uh, whatever. Just just comment in below if you have any additions or suggestions and things like that. So other than that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. Uh, hopefully again this helps you out and you're well on your way, setting your system up. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.